Welcome to the second hour of this morning. Here are today's headlines. Health authorities are soon to announce the revised social distancing measures to take effect from July. The current five levels will be reduced to four, and a ban on private gatherings will be lifted at level one, and a gathering of up to eight people will be allowed at level two and up to four at level three and four. The pilot revised measures have been implemented in some cities in North Gyeongsang Province and South Cheolla Province. The government will implement the revised distancing measures in July if the plan to administer the first dose of COVID vaccines to over 13 million Koreans is accomplished by the end of this month, and the average daily confirmed cases stay below 1,000 in June. With an increasing number of Koreans getting vaccinated, the government will promote increased production of fever reducer acetaminophen in anticipation of a continued increase in demand. There is a sufficient supply for the month of June as manufacturers have about 200 million pills in inventory, while 80 million pills will be needed, assuming the 8 million target vaccination population for this month takes 10 pills each. Health authorities also highlighted there is no need to only insist on buying a particular brand name drug as some 70 types of acetaminophen were offered in the domestic market, all of which have equal efficacy. Restrictions may be placed on senior drivers from 2024 when the police agency completes research on a conditional driver's license system and finalizes concrete details such as drivers, in what specific age groups and with what types of illnesses will be imposed conditional restrictions. Once a restrictive system is launched, drivers over a certain age or with certain illnesses may not be allowed to drive at night, on highways, or over a certain speed. Analysis of the police agency's traffic accident data has shown that accidents caused by drivers aged 65 in 2019 increased 44% compared to 2015, and the fatality per 100 traffic accidents caused by senior drivers was 2.9, about 80% higher compared to accidents caused by non-senior drivers. Finally, a notorious group of hackers by the name of Anonymous targeted Tesla CEO Elon Musk in their new YouTube video attacking the billionaire for destroying lives of the working class people with his gains on the crypto market. Musk's recent tweets resulted in a drastic fall of Bitcoin prices. And you can listen to these headlines once again on our YouTube channel by searching TBS EFM. Once there, you'll also get a script of the headlines and subtitles as well. Coming up next, we're going to discuss the prospects of a new big data-based credit scoring system of online banks and big tech companies, followed by some analysis on the current competition for OTT services worldwide.